Hi, I'm Jeff Weiser, and welcome back to musicmoose.org. And today I'd like to show you, I've had a lot of uh, students ask me from time to time, how, like when you play Orange Blossom Special and stuff like Back Up and Push and, and different things that have that shuffle in it. Uh, a lot of people will have different names for it. I had a guy tell me it was a figure eight, but it's really not a figure eight you do with your bow, but uh, it's a shuffle thing. Some people call it the Georgia Shuffle. Um, I just it's, it's a shuffle they use on tunes like Orange Blossom Special and Black Mountain Rag and Back Up and Push and you, know, you can use it in a lot of ways. I'm going to basically show you how to do this rhythm. It's a rhythm technique and uh, uh, you, you can practice this on one string is a good way to start it. Um, and I'll try to play it for you slow. It's like. Uh, um, It's um, down, up, down. You come out opposite every time different. It's like up, down, up, down. It's an up, down with a da, da in between them. So you go down, up, down, uh, up, down. And that the first note, you, know, you have that heavy accent. So it's, you remember, that's the rhythm of it. It's like. Now what I'm going to do is take you on two strings with that same bowing technique. We're going to play on the D and the A where I'm going to go. Practice that, practice speeding it up, you know, start out slow, like. And if you notice, every time I hit that A string, it's either it's on a down one time, and the next time it's on an up, down, up, so it's. I want to speed it up. go fast with it you know and like on orange blossom special I'll take you through that or you know, I'll show you a couple tunes where you can use this on like on orange blossom special in the key of E and you go back into A it goes and then what you do is you want to rock it onto three strings so you go Like that. Now, if you play that really fast, it sounds pretty good, like an orange ball, especially. You go. Like that. That's on Orange Blossom Special. Now, on other tunes, like uh, there's some of the easier tunes that you can use it on, like. Um, well, back up and push is one, in the key of C, where you go, uh... that you know you can use this uh, for a lick say so like you're playing in uh, A and you want to go to D you can use that lick for like uh, like an A you can go no actually
actually basically what I'm doing is going from A to D, A to D, but that lick will work, you know, uh, like that, you know. that so that's uh, you know like I said start out with on one one string and go and then add two strings it's kind of like a seesaw motion you know see you know teeter-totter motion kind of thing so if you you know and just practice it slow first to get the rhythm and the feel of it and then speed up. Once you get that rhythm and that feeling of it, you won't lose it. That's how I learned it. I basically sat around and, and, and all of a sudden I would have it and I would lose it. And then I'd, it would come back to me and I'd figure, you know, I, I would lose it every once in a while. But if you practice it enough and you get that rhythm and get that bow rocking at the right time, you'll be able to do it on three strings, you know, and you can play stuff like Orange Blossom Special, Black Mountain Rag back up and push. I even use it sometimes like on um, um, a tune like Mockingbird, wherever you go. Like that. Tunes like that. So good luck with it.